Yeah. So I'm going to walk us through uh, the remote lock unlock feature. This was a really big effort from, I think, everyone on the team. Um, I, I'm demoing it, but I was uh, definitely not <laughs> the only person working on this. Everyone uh, had a hand in this. Um, so big props to the whole MDM team for getting this this big feature done. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it kind of just does what it says on the tin, uh, locking and unlocking a, a workstation uh, from fleet. Um, and yeah, let me jump into the demo. Uh, we're going to start off with Windows because um, it takes a second. But come over here to, oh, okay. Well, I think I'm safe from my own computer. Uh, come over here to Fleet. Um, this is the Windows VM that we were just looking at. So now under Actions, here on the host page, we have this new lock option. And um, if you go ahead and click it, you'll get a little confirmation modal. Yes, I wish to lock it. And now this little badge will appear letting you know, hey, there's a lock pending on this guy. And so um, we should see it lock here shortly. It was taking several seconds to go through, but OK, cool. I had to, I'm running multiple VMs and I had to like close everything that I did not need for this demo to try to get this to run faster. So you see, I just got signed out. Um, signs out every user that's not named administrator. Um, so if I try to sign in, I cannot because I was locked out. And if we refresh this page here, we now see that the host is locked. Um, so we can go ahead and unlock this. And you know, we're notified that the unlock is pending. And after a few seconds here, we should be able to see me log back in. Sweet. Um, so that was Windows. Um, so that is, this VM is this guy. So um you know, here we are. Everything's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. And the lock is pending. And yeah, Mac OS is pretty has been really snappy. Um, so the flow again is a little bit different. Uh, this generates a pin that you have to type in on the machine itself, like on the host. Um, so now you can see here. We have a, a requirement for a system pin. Um, so in the UI, if you hit unlock, you will instead be shown the pin. Um, and this happens in Fleet CTL as well. If you do the unlock command, it'll return the pin if it's a macOS host. So that's what 716. And we should go back to the login screen. Nice. And we're back in. And we should no longer see locked over here. Sweet. Yeah, so that's the feature. Um, there's equivalent sort of flows again in Fleet CTL and via API as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty so much it. Before you uh, stop sharing, Haziel, could you just scroll down and give us a show of the activities that that uh, represents in the audit log? Yes, thank you for bringing that up. Um, so yeah, like George just said, we see the activity in uh, the the activity feed for this host. So you can see whenever you view the pin as well as locking and unlocking the uh, the machine. Um, so every time, you know, you see here, view the unlock pin, 
I come over here, or I guess I have to go and lock it again, but um, this should be same thing over here as well. We can see here, and this is my uh, uh, local fleet setup, and uh, we have this Ubuntu machine here. So this is actually a DigitalOcean droplet that I just installed uh, Fleet D on. So it's um, enrolled here into my local fleet setup. If I refetch it, we should uh, we should see it uh, get some fresh vitals. Cool. Um, so over here, I'm logged into the machine currently. And on this side of the screen, on the left side, as root, um, just to kind of show some uh, logs um, from Fleet D running. So these are, you know, I'm tailing the logs here. On this side, I just logged in as a uh, non root user. So I created a non root user for this demo. Um, and I just logged in. Via, you know, using password again through SSH. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do and is come back over here and I can actually do that. So and go ahead and click lock, confirm, and now again I'm shown the lock pending badge. And if we come over here, you can see that. Um, in the fleet D logs that the password was changed. And now you just saw the connection was closed. So I was actually locked out of my SSH session uh, by the locking process. So now if I try to do it again, um, and the password won't show up here, but I'm gonna type in the correct password. Uh, I should get a refusal, yep. So I keep trying, it's going to keep denying me access. If I go back to the UI, refresh, the machine is now marked as locked. So now if I click on lock, come back over here, uh, we should be able to see, uh, I think this is actually the log. What time? Yeah, this is probably the log for the unlocking. So now if I try again, type in the right password. Maybe I hadn't gone through yet. Sweet, okay, so now I'm back in.